All right, guys, so we are in our finale segment. So we are going to be talking about Lil Wayne and 50 Cent. Now, 50 Cent was on Lil Wayne's show. Um, His show is called Young Money Radio. And in that show, you know, I'm guessing Lil Wayne and 50 Cent was talking about women. Um, Now, I got from the neighborhood talk this information, but this is going viral and this is on practically every blog site that you can imagine but I just went ahead and copied it from theirs because they actually gave a breakdown as to what 50 Cent was saying so I didn't have to go ahead and record the audio on here. So this is what they said. Neighbors, social media was not filling 50 Cent's comments regarding black women during his visit on Young Money Radio. During a chat with Lil Wayne, the Go Shawty seasoned rapper stated that Black women are envious when black men date exotic women. They get mad. They get angry. They see a lot of sisters go, you effing, you eff with this kind of girl and that kind of girl. That S is exotic. That S look a lot different than the S you see in the neighborhood of all the time. Well, actress Torre heart caught wind of this comment and had a little message of her own and says black men need to have black women's back the same way black women have theirs i don't give a damn if you date outside your race she exclaimed she went on to say that just because you have a preference doesn't mean you have to down your lineage or where you come from Take a look at the clip to see what she had to say, neighbors. Did she have a point? Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk further about this. Now, there has been other celebrities that have came out. I even went on Instagram before I started this segment of the podcast and noticed that even Lauren London came out. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, read their thoughts first and then I'll give my thought at the end so um you know we had Regine who is Lil Wayne's daughter and mind you I'd like to mention to you guys what Lil Wayne was doing while 50 Cent was saying all these derogatory things he actually started laughing and you know he was actually in agreement with this even though he has a dark-skinned daughter who it has, you know, melanin. And, you know, he also gave birth, he, his um baby mother that gave birth to that daughter that has all that melanin, Toya Wright, she um was also talking about this and, you know, making statements on this. Um, So Regine actually came out on her Twitter and said, I'm black, I'm beautiful, I'm enough, I'm exotic, I'm amazing, I'm one of a am effing kind. Now, where are my black queens at? Then her mother Toya went on to say, my daughter's so damn beautiful, you are everything queen, don't forget that. Hashtag my black queen, and then she added her daughter. Now, as you guys heard, Torre Hart, which is Kevin Hart's ex-wife, she also had thoughts on this as well. And as you guys are know, um, as you guys know, um, Kevin Hart actually is not with his wife, his ex-wife anymore, Teray, simply because he's dating now a Nico Hart, who is a biracial woman. So, which is quote unquote Fifty Cent's version of exotic, just to kind of prove a point here. And she was saying that you know, as black men they need to have our backs like we have their backs because i don't know if you guys know this but black women we're always fighting for black men's attention and we're always sticking up for them even in situations as of today like the whole black lives matters movement we're losing you know guys we're we're losing african-american men and in the process we're going out there and protesting for these men that kind of don't even give a damn about us now i hate to sit here and bring this person up in this kind of light but 
Let's look at Rashard Brooks. He had a white girlfriend on the side. And he was in a whole relationship with his wife who had his kids. And I believe he had like two kids with her. But he had a whole girlfriend on the side who was white. And, you know, his wife is over here fighting hard for him. Doing all this stuff for him, you know. And he had the audacity to be out trying to go to Wendy's to meet up with his girlfriend. So, you know, all I'm saying is we fight hard for these men and in return, they don't do the same to us. Now, Lauren London, she also reposted, you know, what Toya had said and posted it on her Insta story and said that she was a beautiful black queen. And as you guys know, Lauren London has um, ties with Lil Wayne as well. She also has a child by him. And, you know, that's where she ties into things. And I just kind of feel like 50 Cent doesn't get it. Because I went on his page and he had the audacity to, you know, repost everything and say that, oh, the shade room is really over here dragging me about this. And y'all really, you know, in your feelings about all of this. And then when I looked into his comments to see what people were saying and see if maybe he was responding to some people, um, here's what a fan had to say. She said, I hope she gets half and better. And 50 Cent says, you say that like you wouldn't take half, bitch kick rocks. So now you're calling women out of their names. And all his girlfriend, Cuban Link, had to say was, don't worry, ladies, I already knocked him upside his big ass head. So now I'm going to get into my thoughts because we've pretty much read everybody and their thoughts. And then I'm going to get into what T.I. said a little bit later. But right now, here's my thoughts on this. I have no issue with men having their preference being women that are of lighter complexions. I don't care if they like white women. I don't care if they like, you know, black women. I don't care if they like Puerto Rican women. I don't care if they like Indonesian women. All I'm saying is do not sit here and down the people that are in your own race. They are downing, you know, women that are black simply because they think they are quote unquote angry. Now, just because you've had a bad experience with a black woman does not mean that all black women are like that. And now I can understand, you know, sometimes you have bad experiences with, you know, said woman of a certain stature, of a certain race. And I mean, I'm sure that if that continues to keep happening and you see a cycle, you're going to want to break that cycle and do something different within the patterns of the people that you're with. But like I stated, you don't have to down that particular race in the process of that. You're no better than the white men that are doing this shit. So on top of that, you know, I'm thinking of things like, do you not have a mother? Do you not have sisters, aunties, a grandmother? Do you not have little nieces or, or, you know, little nieces that you have? Like you're saying all this stuff and these these are the same people within your family that are of this complexion. Now guys, I'm not trying to be bashing the color of 50 cent skin, but he's not lighter than a brown paper bag himself. So why is it that he's over here bashing women that are, you know, dark skin and, you know, black women in general when he's not you know a caramel complexion himself he's not even exotic you want something that you're not even but you're sitting here proclaiming that's what you want I just find that to be absolutely crazy now I feel like honestly thank you for listening everyone if you enjoyed that podcast please be sure to tune in every Monday through Friday on Google Podcasts Spotify Breaker Radio Public Pocket Casts and Anchor for the rest of that podcast